Joining us today, we have a veteran human rights activist and author, Maxi Hales, with over 30 years of experience, and he has used this platform as an avenue to ensure and promote free speech with effective strategies to instigate positive change within a number of fundamental institutional, primarily within the area of race relations. Black people, we've got an oral history. Mm. We talk a lot. Yes. We don't necessarily write. Right. We need to pen things towards mm. posterity um, and legacy for the future generations. Yes. And I hope this book will contribute somehow towards that legacy. Yes. Hey, Silvern, well, they used to refer to me as Mr. Brummel. Yeah. <laughs> and the reason for that is that um, I w we work, I, I was one of the founding members. And the Brummel um, was established after the 1989 Home Office Interdepartmental Report. Yes. Which identified the fact that racial um, harassment, mm. as was, I like to call it, racial terrorism, because that's what it is, mm. um, was on the increase. I mean, for instance, in, in my, I suffered when I was younger in, in Jamaica yes. because um, I mistakenly were playing, was playing as yes. children, cowboy and Indians. Police and, and thief. Yes, uh -huh. and actually stabbed <clears throat> a, 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 another pupil. Yes. And because of that, it had tremendous implication for me. I, it was, my, my family took me from, my mother took me from the district. Yes. And took me to another, about 10 miles away. That's in Jamaica. In Jamaica, yes. to avoid that conflict. So there I tried to educate uh, young people against the use of knives. So therefore it's, and how it's dangerous. So therefore understanding conflict resolution from early days. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, yes, yes. <laughs>